here we are coating fit ends at three gems and four switches. Uh, this is probably our most complicated one yet. Uh, our job or our goal is to collect exactly three gems and toggle open four switches. Okay, uh, there's a easier way and a uh, complicated way to do this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at the most efficient line of code. Um, but first I'm gonna run this and we're gonna notice that these gems and switches uh, are randomized. So we're gonna use similar code to what we did before about checking every spot for a gem and every spot for a switch. So let's go ahead and start off. We now have two variables we need to deal with. First thing we need to keep track of is gems. And so we're going to code a gem counter. We're gonna set its value equal to zero. We're also gonna have, a, have to keep track of yet another thing, uh, switches. So we'll call this switch counter. All right, so gym counter, switch counter, that is also gonna be zero. We start with zero, as you can see at the top of the page. All right, now we're gonna kind of go through uh, and we're gonna code as we see it, uh, and then we're gonna make adjustments. Okay, so the way I look at it is we need three gyms and four switches. So that's what I'm going to start off with. Um, just tell you now it's, it's wrong, but we're gonna take a look at it and edit, editing is, is a really important part of coding. So while the gym counter is less than three, because we want three gyms, and so you can use the uh, pop-up keys uh, in the top, or you can code the way I am. So, and switch counter is less than four. Space four. Okay. Because that's what I want. Okay. Now, we're going to move forward. And then we need to go ahead and take a look at this. So if we're on a gem, so when they get to a gem, we're gonna collect and count it. So we're going to collect the gem and then count the gem or increment it. So plus equals one. And then I wanna do the same thing with the, um, with the switches as well. So I'm going to tap if, uh, turn it in blue, and we're gonna add an else if statement. Else is when we do one thing or the other based off of one thing. Else if is if we do something completely different. So else if is on close switch. We're gonna toggle that switch and we're gonna count it. Toggle switch and then switch counter plus equals one Oops. all right so that's what we've got uh, while gym counter is less than three and switch counter is less than four um, if we're on a gym we're going to count it and if we're on a closed switch we're going to toggle it and now will we need just need to show bite hopper excuse me what to do when to turn okay the way that i look at it is if you notice uh, the first time he's blocked, he can go right. And that's the way I'm going to look, look at it. So if Hopper is blocked and using the pop-up keys now, and I'm going to say, okay, I want him to go the way he's not blocked. So and is not blocked right. So if he's blocked and he's not blocked right, he can go right. So we're gonna say turn right. And I'm gonna use an else if, and we're gonna do the same thing to the left. If you're blocked and you're not blocked left, we're gonna turn left. So if it's blocked and is not blocked right, turn right. Notice right here, they've got the exclamation point in front, that means not. So if we are blocked, 
and are not blocked right, turn right. Else if we are blocked and we're not blocked left, turn left. Clean this up a little bit. And we're gonna run our code and we're just gonna kind of see what's up. I can tell you right now, I know this is wrong, but we're here to learn. So we got that, we're gonna count it, cool. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. All right, count it, cool, turn, count it, cool. All right, we completely stop. All right, and that's our deal with our and statement, okay? And means both have to be true. So in this case, our gym counter is now smaller than, or is now equal to three. Therefore, the while loop stops. So we don't want this to stop there. We want it to stop when both of them are satisfied. So I'm just changed our and statement to an or statement. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow it to say, all right, the gym counter is less than three or the switch counter is less than three. And that means that we'll go to the switches next. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see if that or statement fixes it. All right, here we go. There's a problem. I'm just going to hit OK. We're going to close out, flick up, and we're just going to relaunch, uh, learn to code, and everything will be fine. All right, everything comes back. Do not hit uh, reset page or start over or anything like that. It's it's in red. Don't hit that. Hit the blue one. All right. So we'll pop back up again, um, and we're going to go ahead run our code. And this is why I like to do this. Um, you run it slow first, and then it it speeds up, and that seems to be a good trick. All right. Now we're counting all. We're we're collecting all of our um, gems. So we got something up with our gems. Let's see what happens with the switches. All right, we stop on the correct switches, but we collect all the gems. So there, there must be an issue with our if is on gem. And our thing is, is we're just saying, all right, if there's a gem, collect it. We're not telling Hopper to, when to stop. The whole code stops when both of these, when the gem counter and the switch counter are satisfied but we need specifically to designate when to stop our gym counter. Okay, so if you're on a gym and your gym counter is less than three, that's when we stop collecting gyms. Okay, and that's gonna be our caveat. Um, the switch counter is gonna be fine because the whole thing will stop then. But we need that if statement to stop when the gym counter is less than three. Or we need it to continue to go. We need to stop when that's not true. So if I go ahead and run this, we'll collect three and then we'll stop collecting. We'll go through this, two, three, four, and the whole thing stops, okay? Hope we enjoyed that. It's really great code, um, and we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.